Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the 2009 London Underground Tube Stock, and this is a four block wide uh, train, so I'm going to make it narrow gauge. In real life, it is standard gauge, but I had to make it narrow gauge because it will be weird uh, for it to run on these five block tracks right over here. So here is an eight car train set. Uh, there's basically two types of cars, the one in the middle and uh, two at the end. So there's an end car and then there's like uh, six intermediate cars and then another end car in the back. So that's the whole train set and uh, yeah, let's get started. So let's begin by placing a uh, gray concrete two blocks above the tracks in the middle. And we want to make it 25 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 23, 24, 25. And uh, do the other side. Fill it in, and I'm missing a lot. Because I'm going a bit fast. But yeah, that's that's the floor of the first end car, so... Then we're going to add uh, red concrete, make this L-shape, it's going to be like three blocks tall, so L-shape and L-shape, uh, black wool right on top of the middle of the L, and then on top of that, we're going to take uh, black stained glass, just place that right there, and you also want to have like, sort of this, there's like a door in the middle, but since it is four blocks wide, we have to keep it on one side, so it's going to be like that. And then the other side is just the red concrete all the way. Alright, so next we're going to take red carpet, add it above this uh, window on the sides. For the middle part, another brick slab right above this uh, window door or door window. And then we're going to take acacia wood slab, place it right next to it. Then we're going to go down, acacia wood slabs at the bottom corners, and let's add a coupling in the middle. We're going to use another brick slab for that. And you can extend it a bit back. Alright, so um, there's going to be these giant doors on the side. So that, there's actually one door right here, but it's white, so it kind of blends in. It first confused me when I first saw it, but now I know. So we're going to take quartz, make this little L shape like that. Add another column after that, and you want to make this two block uh, wide window. Should make a hole for that. But then this is the regular door in the front. There's actually two doors in real life, like a double door. So it's going to be three blocks long. And uh, in the middle, we want to leave a hole for the window. And then we have another uh, two block wide window. We're going to make a frame for it with the white quartz. Then another one of these uh, big double doors. Then another two by two by one window holes with the quartz around it. And then there's gonna be like this end door. Just make this L shape like that. And yeah, down over here, down below all these red doors, we want to extend it down by one. So like that, extending to the floor. And then we're going to add stone button uh, below each of the two, two block window holes. So probably like some kind of vents. Alright, so after we do that, we're going to take uh, blue concrete. And we're going to go make a stripe across right over here. Skipping the red parts. And the, this side. <clears throat> Alright, then we're going to take a uh, red banner. Just add that on the sides in the front next to this uh, window. So it covers up the sides a bit. And let's add iron bar right here. Or like a handle and uh, the roof of the own oh, I'm not sure if this is an EMU but I think it is I'm pretty sure it's an EMU so on the roof of this EMU we're gonna take stone slab just go across the 
roof. It might use third rail or fourth rail. I don't. I don't think it uses Pantograph for sure. All right, so we went all the way back to the end of the car, and then there's like this uh, white column here. Let's fill it in with quartz. Not that one, but here. And then we're going to be left with a bunch of holes for the windows. So let's fill in the windows right now. We're going to take black stained glass, just place them in the holes. That just alongside it. And one more. Alright, then we're going to take a uh, white carpet, just add it above um, these body windows, not the door windows. So, like here, like all the quartz windows, except the one in the front, that's a door. So, I know it looks like the center <laughs> window, but it's not. It's a door. And the door windows, they're going to be left exposed in the front because they kind of curve. And all right, so let's add a little more detail. We could take uh, Sion stained or Sion Sion terracotta. Just add that right there for the wall, and then uh, iron door for the door that goes between the cars and for the sides. We can uh, add gray concrete. Just add two, like so, and let's add coupling down below. And I just picked this side and actually, yeah, never mind. We'll just leave it like that. Then let's add uh, another brick slab above there so that you don't really fall in when you go outside that door. All right, so let's work on the bottom. So we're going to take hopper, just add one right there. And then actually let's do both sides at the same time. So two hoppers, two by four, I mean two by two. Stone brick slab, then hoppers again. Um, then let's go to the other side. And we're going to skip two from the edge, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, two from the edge. So this is the edge, and skip two, so it's like that. So hoppers, two by two, stone brick slab, <clears throat> hoppers again. And let's work on this part down below. So the pattern is going to be comprised of stone slab and stone brick slab. So we're going to skip a one away from this uh, hopper. Place one stone slab, three stone brick slabs, two stone slabs, one stone brick slab, one stone slab, and then three stone brick slabs. And let's add uh, another brick slab um, right in front of this um, hopper at the very edge. Then we're going to take iron trap door, just add it alongside it until it goes one block past this, um, this hopper. And we're going to do it to this side as well. Same thing in the front. So it looks like that basically. And we could do the opposite end. Uh, another brick and then um, iron trap doors another brick iron trap doors all right so I believe that's that's pretty much it for the first car now let's move on to uh, the intermediate car so this car is slightly shorter like one block shorter so we're gonna make it 24 blocks long so we're going to take great concrete at the floor right here make it 24 long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 to the other side Alright, and then let's add uh, the wheels down below. So it's going to be pretty much similar to this car in the front. We're going to skip two from the edge. So the edge is really right here. 
this is a connector you want to make sure you do that right so hoppers two by two stone brick slab hoppers again go to the other side get that hoppers two by two and hoppers and this one it's like one block shorter so what I did for this is I just cut off uh, one of the stone brick slab right here so the pattern we're gonna skip one from the edge one stone stone slab two stone brick slabs two stone slabs one stone brick slab one stone slab and three stone brick slabs like that and let's work on the sides of this how we gonna do this um blue concrete maybe so yeah let's do this part so blue concrete skip to um four is that five five four it's definitely four so why okay never mind and then skip three then four skip three four and then skip to one at the end like that and the other side we just copy what it looks like because I think it's pretty much symmetrical for this and then uh, we're gonna add red concrete so the doors on the end for this one they're gonna be a little bit shorter just like that car at the end so we're gonna make it like three blocks tall and just just leave like this corner near the edge open for uh, the window well this door is like three blocks wide it's gonna have the door window in the middle yeah so just have like two of those doors in the front I missed the block here by accident but that's no big deal Alright, and then the door at the edge. It's gonna be two blocks wide and just leave the corner near the edge alone. Alright, so then let's add the block of quartz for the rest of the wall. So we're gonna add a column at the back like that and then this window frame for the two block wide window and just add them throughout the train. the edge here. Let's take out our black stained glass, just replace them wherever it's needed. And after we're done with that we can fill in the roof with the stone, stone slabs. other way all right and then we're gonna take a white carpet just add it above all the uh, the body windows that are not doors so just fill it in should be like three of those on each side so like that all right, then we're gonna add the walls for <laughs> this uh, this car and the the intermediate car. We're gonna use the Scion terracotta. You know, I'll, I'll just align it with this one so you could just make it go between cars more easier. So just line it up like that. And then we're gonna add a coupling here and be looking like that and we'll have a little step a little ledge to uh, walk on and great concrete two on the sides yeah let's work on the thing in the bottom we're gonna do another brick slab and then iron trap doors like four of them like that same thing on the side so the first wheel and then 
goes extend one block past the second hopper. This one. And the last one. And don't forget to add our uh, stone buttons for the window vents. It's an important detail. Just to make it look a little bit better in Minecraft. Especially for vanilla, you gotta add as much detail as possible. Alright, so one thing I forgot to add was the lights in the front. So I'm gonna use stone button like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the London Underground 2009 uh, tube stock. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please hit that like button below. And subscribe if you had not because I will be uploading more train tutorials in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.